Go to YouTube, it's Aquarius Leviathan Prophecy. And, you know, um, I'm back at it with another vlog video. Um, listen, man. Uh, I was watching the uh, first take today with Max and Stephen A. Smith and Kendrick Perkins. Um, now, obviously, uh, Kendrick Perkins comes on that show almost... You know every single day, and you know he defends his uh his 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 boo his left thing, um you know his 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 husband, LeBron James. Um you know saying that we must appreciate we must appreciate greatness. Now, I felt like. I felt like the Lakers was never tested, right? I think the only team that probably tested the Lakers was the Heat, you know, when they only won two games. You know, you look at the, you look at the teams from the Western Conference, all of them just won one game. The only team that pushed, the only team that pushed the Clippers to seven games was the Nuggets. And before that, even the Mavericks pushed the Clippers. Well, everybody wanted to see the Clippers and the Lakers. Do you know how that game would have turned out? Do you know how do you know how that series would have turned out? We don't know if we would have gone to game five. We don't know if we would have end at a game seven. We don't know. We don't know if the Lakers would have probably get swept. You know, we don't know until we have to find out next year. Um, but Kendrick Perkins, you know, obviously, you know, he said, that, oh, without Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan was nothing in the finals. You know, before he got there, he was getting smoked by the bad boy Pistons and you know, um, Larry Bird, you know, and then, you know, he said that, oh, MJ went into Larry Bird was old and raggedy, and, you know, obviously the bad boy Pistons was dismantled, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's how Michael Jordan got his six-on-six -six wings, rings, I should say, and I said, Kendrick, So all this time that LeBron James has been to the finals, he haven't he haven't tasted the feet. You know, we like we all know his record is. You know, he's four and six right now. He's four and six. He's not three and six no more, so y'all can just eliminate that from history books. He's four of six. Okay? Michael Jordan has never allowed a game seven. Let me repeat that again. Michael Jordan, the GOAT, has never allowed a game seven. How many game sevens did LeBron James allow in this illustrious career? A lot. You know, second year, obviously he had a phenomenal rookie year. Second year, he took the Cavaliers to the playoffs. Couldn't get past, uh, couldn't get past, um, no, actually he did get past, the uh, Magic, but he got smoked against the Spurs. And I'll probably do a video of that, uh, tomorrow, um, but he got smoked by the Spurs. Swept them, you know? Spent about, like, probably, like, eight or nine years with the Cavaliers. Didn't necessarily do much. You know, just step pattern. You know what I'm saying? He made this decision in 2010 to get up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because obviously the ownership wouldn't necessarily help him. You know what I'm saying? And that's when, you know, he left. You know what I'm saying? They retooled. The Cavaliers retooled by, you know, drafting, you know, Kyrie and, and Anthony Bennett. Um, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? And then obviously LeBron James went to the Heat. 
you know, you know, and then he put on that conference, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, but he only won two championships with them. Out of six trips, out of six trips, he only won two. He could have won the third. He could have won three championships with them, but he won two. Okay? He left that. Went back to Cleveland. The first time around, the first time around, didn't necessarily end the way he wanted. You know, Love and Kyrie wind up, wind up getting hurt. You know, I think the first time, yeah, uh, I think Draymond Green was suspended and then the whole, you know, three to one lead and stuff like that. I'm not going to go with the first one. I'm going to go with the second one when they, when the Warriors blew a three to one lead. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, um, you know, they tried to do it all over again next year. And then obviously that's when the Warriors got KD and... You know, he went down and Klay Thompson went down and they still wind up winning, I believe. So, because obviously KD has two chips now. So, now, you know, he left that, you know, went to, um, you know, went to the Lakers, didn't have a good year, uh, you know, got AD next year, and then here we are right now. So, that was a lot of time. That was a lot of timetable, uh, our timeline, I should say. Um... But yeah, man, I mean, listen, Michael Jordan is always going to be the GOAT, dead or alive. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, there's never, I mean, it's never going to change, you know? I mean, LeBron James can win his next two rings, which he probably may not. But, uh, you know, just giving the Lakers one championship is, it, 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 you know, it's, it's good enough, you know? Um, but, I mean, yes, the people are entitled to their own opinions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we all know that LeBron James got Shannon Sharp and you know Kendrick Perkins and Chris Broussard and and Rachel Nichols, you know, on their payroll on his payroll. You know what I'm saying? Like they actually go out there and say asinine questions, or they they go out there and say asinine qu- answers. You know what I'm saying? Trying to throw other people under the bus. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when Kyrie came out with that video, oh, LeBron James is not clutched. LeBron James was never clutched. Like, people need to get that in their heads. You know, these LeBron James, you know, these bronze sexual fans need to get that in their head. LeBron James was never clutched. He's a great player when he wants to be, but he's never clutch. He only made two walk-off shots in his career. One against the Raptors. And the other one against uh, the the walk off shot when he shot it over Turkaloo in, in, in the in the in the um in the in the playoffs, you know what I'm saying? Those are the only two. And if you if you want to count the one when he was with the Cavaliers, you could count that one as well. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he is he he's had a, a quite few buzz buzzer beaters in his career. You know what I'm saying? Um you know my I think Michael Jordan had four or probably five Michael Jordan. But um you know y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. How many buzzer beaters did Michael J Michael Jordan have in his career, playoff wise, NBA finals wise. Um but you know I, I mean it is what it is. You know I mean people are gonna talk about this in the barbershops you know what I'm saying? That's why I always say it's barbershop talk. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no physical way to see who's the best. And I'm not talking about 2K. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about, like, real, real basketball. If LeBron James were to face Michael Jordan at the age he's right now, who would have won? We don't know. And we will never know. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what barbershop talk is, you know. What stays in the barbershop, stays in the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you don't go out and gossip what you just talked about in the barbershop to somebody else, you know. That's why they call it barbershop talk, because it's a talk, it's a conversation between men, you know. Um, so, I mean... LeBron James fans might say he's the best. Michael Jordan fans might say he's the best. We're never going to know. 
Okay, we could, the only thing we can go off by is statistics, highlights, tributes, videos, whatever you want to call it, rings, MVPs, you know what I'm saying? You know, like how many, you know, appearances did LeBron James appear in slam dunk contest? In the, you know, like, like Skip Bayless have been praising LeBron James to enter the dunk contest for years. He don't want to. The only... The only, the only dunk contest LeBron James entered was, uh, was one of those McDonald's, um, McDonald's slam dunk contests. That's the only slam dunk contest he entered. Obviously, he lost to, I think he lost to Blake Griffin, I believe. Because I believe Blake, Blake Griffin was in that all McDonald's slam dunk contest as well. So I believe he lost to him. But ever since, he's never even suggested about entering a, a slam dunk contest. We don't care if we lose or win. Like we, like, we really don't. We really don't care if LeBron James win or lose the slam dunk contest. We just want him to put on a show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like if you look at some of the greatest basketball players... You know, Dominique Wilson, or Dominique Wilkerson entered, you know, the slam dunk contest. You know, Michael Jordan did. You know, Dr. J did. So how come LeBron James can't? You know, even Dwight Howard did it. You know what I'm saying? Nate Robinson took it three years in a row. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for LeBron James not to enter the dunk contest, I don't know. He might probably be waiting until his last year to do it. I really don't know, and, you know, hopefully, I mean, I, honestly, I don't think he cares, neither, so, uh, there's not really nothing to talk about right there, but I, I'm just saying, like, if you claim to be the best, you know, show it, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I don't, like, for me, I would have liked to see LeBron James in the dunk, slam dunk contest, three-point shooting contest. We don't care if we, I don't, I don't care if LeBron James get booted out in the first round. We just want LeBron James to put it on the show. That's all. Um, so like, comment, subscribe. Uh, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.